All right, first pie guy here. I thought I'd share my uh, light show pie setup that I have here. So as you can see, I got uh, four two gang uh, metal boxes attached to this uh, nice plastic ammo box that you can, you can get off of uh, Amazon. So I'm using four two gang boxes and uh, you know two four six eight uh, receptacles. So then I cut the uh, the uh, jumper that's on the side of the receptacle to make me 16 channels. So, and I'm using solid state relays, so each of them can only hold two amps anyway. But if you take two times 16, that's 32 amps. So, obviously, we're not pulling nowhere near 32 amps because I'd have to run a whole new line and breaker for uh the power of my setup <laughs> so <clears throat> obviously we're going to stay below you know at least 10 amps but so what we're looking at here is just the way i set this up all my neutrals come over here from my receptacles and all my grounds i have coming over here pigtailed you know so they all go back to uh one central location <clears throat> uh on the outside of the box once again uh if i turn this around as you can see i have a cord coming out that i can plug an extension cord into this to power it then uh, over here, I have a Wi-Fi antenna for my Pi because I'm using a Raspberry Pi B Plus. So I'm just using an external USB Wi-Fi dongle, an old Eddie Max I had laying around. So <clears throat> like I said, I have... I'm using these here to run everything together and uh, all my connections on all my receptacles all these I crimped and soldered uh, fork terminals spades on there I guess you fork terminals I guess you could say on each wire to make sure they hold so none of these wires are stripped bare with just put in there they're all have uh, terminals on so then I just use simply use some shrink and uh, some nylon ties. So when it comes in from outside, it goes into this uh, <clears throat> one gang box with a receptacle that has two USB uh, ports on it. So each one of them are 2.4 amps or 2.5 one or the other. Uh, each so I decided to go that way then I wouldn't have to use no uh, uh, transformers and stuff for my to power the pi and power the relays coming out of here as you can see I got wire going over then it jumpers in between the uh, relays <clears throat> and like I said these are the solid state uh, relay boards two of them that I just double stacked using some standoffs. And uh, I have everything jumpered together. And then it comes over to here <clears throat> with a little pigtail jumper there. I mounted my uh, Raspberry Pi B Plus over here on some standoffs. And I have the uh, power cord going over. And all my wires for the GPIO pins. Uh, nice little trick I do with my SD cards. I'll take some uh, painter's tape and just put enough tape on the edge of the SD card to hold it. 
comes in handy when you need to pull these out in tight spots better than using needle nose or breaking it trying to get it in or out <clears throat> so I have all my uh, wires going up going to the receptacles for the relays so then uh, I'm going to put this in a bigger enclosure to keep the weather out of it so I can uh, plug everything in but uh, these here I got off of Amazon and uh, the solid states I got off of Amazon the box like I said I got off of Amazon uh, so pretty much everything you can get online and I'm just using a Samsung 32 gig SD card the green ones I've been having really good luck with the green ones so that's what I stick with and I just mounted it in there nice so it stays in place so but uh, I'll post more videos of it in operation uh, so We'll see when that's done. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for another one.